Roseanne Shimoni, Maureen Braun, Charlene Smith, Gina Diagardi, the whole clan, and of course the legend that is Vince Sr. Thank you to all for giving me an opportunity to come here tonight. I love Rome Monument. Life is a journey. Memorialize the journey. But more importantly, Rome Inspirations, an incredible place to celebrate all sorts of wonderful things that is familia. And we're going to be talking about their incredible open house Christmas to be celebrated this weekend. Maureen, what's in store? In the store is we've got scarves, we've got shawls, we've got uh, jewelry, uh, gloves, so many things to for you to buy and look at and home gifts, now you lanterns. And your, you and your sister grew up in Beaver Falls. We did. And I love Beaver Falls. As do I. So take me back to the 60s in Beaver Falls. What was it like? I, I remember. I was a mere child in the <laughs> 60s. I graduated from high school in the 70s. Thank you very much. Well, I'm talking about going there when there was Montgomery well, Wards. Oh, Shoppers Benson's. World. Wait, Benson's. I love that store because it had the pneumatic tube that took your, your money up to the top floor. Crazy things to like, but that meant something to me. Tons of movie theaters. Oh my gosh, five three, and three, three or four leaders. of them. I worked at one of the movie theaters. Did you? Which one? Rialto? 60 cents an hour. A penny a minute. Who was it? Rialto? No, no, no. The, um... Hmm, the one that was up further, about 13th Street, I can't, Cinema Theater. Okay, when oh, yeah, I yeah, yeah, I saw The Godfather. Isn't that? <gasps> I worked for The Godfather. Nice crowd. <laughs> yes. A lot cheaper back then, folks. And also, that's why I'm talking about this place for the holidays, because it's a throwback. It's like Main Street America, when people were working and they would set their sights on going to a standalone brick and mortar building of people that really cared about families. And that's what the Diagardi family has done here. This isn't really about a business. This is about a plan of giving back to the community who has supported them for so many years in that incredible business that was started by John and Vince Father Michael Rome Monuments many years ago. Every family member that has passed on from the Pratt family to the Bango family have been very blessed to be able to have a monument that tells their story from Rome Monument. And each and every carving is like a work of history and art that will tell their stories for many years to come. Now, this weekend... I can't describe it. I showed a little bit oh, of it. Oh, allow me. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I will. And by the way, we're all Italians, so we're probably going to be talking with our yeah, hands. Yeah, the hands so if, a, if a band starts to play, just understand. That's what happens. Anyway, go ahead. So it's Thursday and Friday this week, 17 and 18, from 9 until 6 p.m., and Saturday from 9 to noon. And my niece, Diane Happich, is the owner of Rem Inspirations, along with the co-owner, Christy Diagardi, who is... Married to uh, Vince, the younger Vince Diagardi, and my sister Gina Diagardi works here. Um, it's almost all family. We've just adopted Ma Maureen and Charlene, who works here. But other than that, we're pretty much all related, which is a really nice thing. And we get along wonderfully. Listen, to tell the folks about what this place is, yes, you can take a look at monument selections and everything that happens during that bereavement time, but there's also the great gift of life to celebrate many things. Obviously, First Holy Communion just being one, bat mitzvah, bar mitzvahs, you name it. Anything that celebrates life... But what they also do is to give you a chance to enjoy the holidays, and especially Christmas, which really is what you guys love it's to do. the biggie. Christmas, and we have a great children's boutique. Oh, my gosh. I, I wish I had children because it's amazing, astounding. It's on our lower level. It's beautiful. We have Thanksgiving things. We have Christmas things. We have in general things, as well as the beautiful jewelry and That's That's her scarves. cue for me to step out of the way. Okay. <laughs> the beautiful jewelry, scarves, um, accessories, tabletop items to decorate your home. I mean, we just have everything. It's going to be a great event. You need to come. In addition to the regular stock, we're going to have things on sale. We have door prizes. We have a cookie table. You'll think you're at an Italian wedding. It's that good. Anyway, isn't it amazing? I thought she was so shy. Anyway, uh, did a great job. Roseanne and Maureen and Jeannie and Charlene and everyone would like to have you stop by. Now, a couple of other things that Mr. Diagardi has, and John told me to promote. He would have been here with us tonight, but he's on the road, as they always are, paying it forward in the great community that is all of our homes. Coming up on Thanksgiving, the wonderful parish that was my parents' parish. They were there married. Both my parents were uh, memorialized by yours truly with the eulogy, and they were buried out of that incredible church. And because of Vince Sr., 
And I'm only saying this because he's not here because he would not let me do this, but I am. There would not be a brand new St. Cecilia's Church, which has only been around since 2004. And in my opinion, the Capuchin priests do an incredible job there. It's one of the most amazing churches anywhere in the Catholic diocese, paid for, I might add. But more importantly, they are going to be giving free Thanksgiving dinners out on Thanksgiving Day. Thank you to all of the wonderful parishioners, many of them family members at St. Cecilia's for doing that. And because of the incredible generosity of Rome Monuments, we will continue our great tradition on Christmas Eve. I'm in just about my 30th year now, of, well, pretty close to talking about the Feast of the Seven Fishes, the baklava, the squid, the octopus, the seven sacraments, what the wonderful holiday of Christmas Eve is all about from Joe Dantisi's Coons Markets on McKnight Road. And then something we've been doing for years now because of Mr. Diagardi and Rome Monuments, a throwback. We're actually giving people that may be shut in or don't live here anymore and want to recapture their memories from being in the valley or the region by going to kdk.com. Our live Christmas Eve service mass will be broadcasted Yes, because of Rome Monuments for 2016, Father Michael Pulaski from St. Peter and Paul Ukrainian Church will be our host this year. So, hey, arrivederci, have a great rest of your night, and remember, Rome inspirations make memories last this weekend for the holidays. Ciao, buon Natale. In Italian.